and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karina Control. We're gonna go ahead and retry this deck first time since the new set has been out, Rising Tide set. We don't have too many new cards in this deck. We got a couple. We got Gotcha in here, but most importantly, we have Vi, and that's what we're actually gonna be doing today. We're having a short stream after our large 12-hour uh, stream yesterday. So only playing three decks instead of our normal four or five today. Um, you know, kind of having a shorter chill stream, but we got uh, we're all going to we're going to be playing all Vi decks because now I have three Vi's, and uh, so let's let's go ahead and uh, play this card. We've been running into this deck some. Um, it's, you know, kind of popular, but I'm not sure how good it is because we haven't played it ourselves. I know a lot of y'all on YouTube have been kind of asking about it and everything. So, um, yeah, let's kind of see it ourselves. I'm I'm playing just kind of like the generic deck list that you know, kind of looking up um, on like the mobile attic site that that you know that I use for my deck list. That you can see, you know, if you're not very familiar with the site, uh, you know, go to the video description for those of y'all on YouTube and go to that deck list link. On the left hand side, there's a really good tool to, to look at deck list. And this is kind of the list that most everybody's playing for Karina Control. So we'll kind of go with with the normal list that, that a lot of people are playing today and uh, check it out for ourselves. You know, of course, we have our Karina Veraza, Commander Ledros top end. That is great. We have a lot of removal and early game stuff. And then we have our Vise now in the mid game. This card's looked really good, especially because of the tough. You know, it's basically impossible. Okay, that's not true, but it's very difficult to kill Vi because of that toughness. So let's give it a try. Um, let's see, let's head on over to the he Hextech Lab. New Guardian, uh, Gromp. We'll get some Gromp in today. All right, Karina Control. We're gonna play five games over in ranked. That's what we always do every day. What's up, Scrub Lord? <laughs> big fan of big fan of I. Uh, looks like we're level Vi or backwards. We're dyslexic Vi. All right, playing some, playing against some Quinn Miss Fortune. Let me get rid of Withering Whale and keep the rest. Guess I'm not getting rid of Withering Whale after all. We'll we'll just go ahead and keep Withering Whale. What's up, Gromp? <laughs> Gromp's cool. Uh, kind of want to cast that, but I also kind of don't and want to hold on to it. Because this can kill a larger creature. And we have the Withering Whale that kills this. Alright, got our nine drops nice and early. Nice and early for some nine drop. Nine and drops. Don't want to Don't want to pass priority there and let them play um uh Bannerman. 
time. GG's. Alright, well that looked pretty bad. That looked pretty bad. These damage removal spells... Um, don't seem to be in a very good spot right now. With a bunch of 3 mana 4 4s, or 4 mana 4 1s that make 4 4s, or 1 mana give all of your creatures tough. It's like a difficult business playing damage removal. Why, why am I keeping. Like, thinking like this is a curve like 2 3. I shouldn't be keeping Vile Feast. It's not good against Maokai Nautilus. Okay, big fan of martial arts and big dumb hand-to-hand -hand combats of Sin and Vi. I guess Vile Peace will do something. Here's nice. Yeah, Mystic Shot and, and Withering Will do look very similar. Just the, the coloring. The, the blue colors, yeah, do, they do look very similar. I wanted to see if we could get good use out of that gotcha. But I guess that wasn't the aggressive line. I, usually they play like the 3 mana 3 2, or like the 3 mana 4 1 challenger, stuff like that. Look at that 3 mana 3 2. They're like play skitter, they play that thing. I felt like using the gotcha there, but didn't work. The Isles will bloom again. No. You can just leave. Maokai. Okay. Maokai is a pretty cool name, though. Um Is it is it Mao maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. I wonder if it's Mao Okai. Mao Okai. I've been saying Mao Ukai, like an O sound, but it's probably an O sound. Yeah, it's probably a Mao Okai. Yeah, the, the two... Yeah, there's the two Noxus spells that cost three mana that look basically the same. Like, and they're in the same set. There's like 10 Noxus cards printed and they printed two of them to look the same. Well, that's bad for me. That was bad.
We're going to need these spiralings just to be blocking. I don't know if it's worth playing Vengeance. I, of course, wish I would have just dealt the one damage to the, the Wanderer. Probably should have just done that. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to be playing Ledros from like here on out. So if we're just going to be playing, tapping out for playing Ledros here on out, like we're not going to have the banner for Vengeance. Some eight eights, <laughs> five mana get three fearsome eight eights. <sighs> That's fair. <laughs> Not exactly fair, I suppose. All right, so we got Ledros. We can lower this life total to the four. I guess five. They're about to gain two life. Oh no, that's going to be obliterated. They don't get the last breath effect. I probably have to Mystic Shot and kill the Wanderer so they don't gain three life. We need to draw something that does direct damage. So another Mystic Shot, a Get Excited, anything like that. That's what we need to draw. Um, are those our only options? Static Shock? Ooh, Karina Veraza does direct damage. Um, and I guess we should just play this right now and hope we hit four cards. So right now, let's see, there's 13 total of these creatures, we have four of them in hand. We we drew a Frenzy Skitter earlier, so that's five. So that means there's eight more in the deck. Eight out of 24, so approximately one out of three. I mean, well, exactly one out of three. So if it's one out of three, then it's, it's really just a coin toss, basically, if this is gonna be three or four damage. The problem with going with the Ledros first is they can just go straight to attacks and kill me, most likely. Because, yeah, if I just play Ledros, they go straight to attacks, fearsome things. I don't want to do this. I think this is maybe my best chance. Come on, hit four out of five. Well, that's not good. Would only hit three anyway. The other thing about like doing this is like 
we were basically at worst getting three, putting them down to one, where, you know, like we could also top deck a Static Shock. Where if we go with the Ledros, we put them down to two, so we're only looking at Mystic Shot and get excited, so we're not looking at Static Shock. But I do have... I do have Double Withering Whale, but that's not going to save me. Um, yeah. This game was kind of won by that toss. Weirdly enough. Whenever they had the 3-3 the Elusive Eye, Abyssal Eye, that I tried to grasp the Undying, and um, they had the toss to turn it into a 6-6, six, six, and then hit me for 6, draw a car. Like, that was, that was just big. Then I had to spend the next turn on a gotcha killing it, and yeah. Else is fearsome. All right, well, our deck's not looking so good so far. Um, Demacia just completely ran us over. The deep deck went over the top. There's not... Yeah, usually, like, that's what Karina Control is supposed to do with, you know, like, we played three nine drops, and we still had the other deck just, you know, go over the top of us. So that's not a good sign that we're over here playing a bunch of nine drops, and yet our opponent is still, uh going over that and playing a lot more bigger things. All right, same matchup. I do like Mystic Shot at killing the 3-2 Lifesteal. So, like, they can't block, have the 3-2 Lifesteal block at least. We're not attacking, or no, we are attacking on turn 2. Never mind. Sorry, excuse me. Come closer. I don't bite. Um, I don't really have a, no, I don't zero rate. That's, that's something that I wish, I kind of wish I did. I don't really have a good recommend like good decks for beginners kind of thing um maybe i should try starting because you know I, I went through all of it in uh like february i let's just play this thing We'll do this. RV, stop. You know, I, I started with, with, you know, like, uh, you know, playing, you know, with the beginner decks that they have, you know, in ranked and everything first and, and you know, kind of slip, you know, build my way up and everything then. As well, but um, I don't really have any good videos of, like, real good recommendations to do. So, and I, and by now, you know, like that was a couple months ago, I don't really remember what um, those decks exactly looked like um, and yeah, like what, what exactly you start with and that kind of stuff. So maybe I should just start a new account 
and kind of start playing on it and seeing seeing what I can do and uh, have some videos for beginners. But yeah, I'm sorry, Zero Rate. I don't really have anything right now. I guess we just attack first. Not not play the Brood Awakening and then let them play a good blocker for Elise. Just have them do one of these trades. See what they do. Yes, it is very kind to new players. Yep, absolutely. It really is. Um, but yeah, that's the thing to do. Yeah, go through those region rewards. I recommend going through um, uh, to level 8. Um, that's what I do recommend that. I recommend going through to level 8 and then starting a new region. Because level 8 is where you get the champion capsule. And that's the, the most valuable capsule. that You know, you get a champion there. And, and so I recommend going, grabbing that, switching regions, and so on. Vi stands for violence. All right, so we got to draw Vi. This is my very first time casting a Vi. We hadn't drawn Vi yet. 2-5, tough. We'll match up well again with Challenger. We'll match up very well against the 3-2. So we'll put them down to 10. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so we got a couple more turns before we can start playing Ledros. I know. I think you start with a couple Zeds. I know you start with a couple Elises. Basically, to see if they play something else. Obviously, I was going to Static Shock. Well, I guess not obvious. I could. I could certainly play Wither and Whale, but I want to draw a card. I want to find other things to play. It's always nice having the attack token on turn 9 for Ledros. We're not going to have that. No, Lucian's very good. Yeah, Lucian's very good. Um, yeah, there's, like, there's a lot of good ways to play Lucian. I mean... Uh, My favorite is probably the Demacia Sacrifice deck. But no, just putting Lucian in, in um, aggressive Demacia decks. Yeah, I mean, Lucian's a good champion.
Ledros. I want to play Ledros first and, and try to get their life total down a couple of times with Ledros and then play Karina Veraza to be able to get the, the last points of damage across. Alright. I wasn't really doing anything. Hmm. try this we could maybe hit four cards obliterate this they only have like the way to play like one thing or or um, one removal spell and then we attack and kill him maybe I don't know we'll see they've crafted all the anti fun elusive burn mid-range bannerman green of control and vision burn aggro now nice um, your opponent will be the most fun here a combo deck um It's a good question. It probably I mean it, it's I mean if you if you consider Karma Ezreal combo I think it's going to be that. Um haven't really found uh, something else right now. That I'd really recommend over that. Um, that I can think of off the top of my head. You know, I'm trying to think of another combo deck. This game doesn't have a, a ton of combo. To be honest. All right, it's not quite lethal. Didn't hit that fourth card to clear up that thing. Still four cards away from deep. They could have like you know jettison and get there right away, or salvage gets there right away. Alright, well, we could definitely lose this. A little surprised for that attack. I guess they're thinking that I can't replay, recast Ledros. Attack for three right now, put him to three, and then Ledros. I think it's better to go this way, incentivize them on you know playing a blocker. You know, basically having Ledros die because I want to play Ledros again next turn. I want to just keep playing Ledros. I want Ledros to die. This way, going down to three, I have the two lethal attackers. Their plan was just to play some big sea monster. They can't. They gotta have. Yeah, you know, they have to have the ability to deal with two things. You know, so maybe like a smaller sea monster and then removal for a skitter, something like that. All 
I'm sad. <laughs> oh, man. Karina Control, not looking good. Not looking good. Basically, like, these kind of cards. Like, Withering Whale, all three games, Withering Whale has, you know, just been a, a non-card. Grass the Undying looks like a non-card. Like, little, little amounts of damage. Like, we have... You know, like, we have five cards. None of these cards do anything. Static Shock was a great draw. I mean, not as good as Get Excited would be. Get Excited or Mystic Shot. That's what we need. We have Get Excited in this deck, right? Oh my gosh. There are no Get Excited in this deck. There are just no get excited in this deck. It's like a card that I've been like, you know, desperately wanting to draw and we have none of them in the deck. There's just gotchas, you know, gotchas instead. How do people win with this deck? Yeah, it's running gotcha instead of get excited. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm using like the generic list that, um, that, you know, that's, a, that's all over online that a lot of people are playing. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about uh, Karina Control is, yeah, you get people down to like three, four life all the time, like with, with Ledros. Like, get excited's like important, right? I'm not sold on these, um, gotchas, but to be honest, Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale, those two cards have looked really bad. We haven't played against a burn deck, but um, all these new metagame cards are uh, very well positioned against Withering Whale and Grasp. So here's a burn deck, so now Withering Whale and Grasp are going to be great for us. I wonder if Frenzied Skitter is not any good anymore, either. Hasn't done anything for us yet. To be fair, the second game, I could have played Skitter on turn 3 and attacked for 4, and I held up a removal spell instead. My opponent did not have anything for me to remove, and that 4 damage may have ultimately cost, cost me that game. It's hard to know with, like, Ledros math and, like, how they gain life afterwards and that kind of stuff, but... Um, so I haven't my point is I haven't maximized Frenzied Skitter either. Just gonna put this here. It will all be over soon. I'll try anyway. Let them go to blocks, block this 1-1, one, one. and then I'm going to gotcha. So we keep the spider out there. If I just gotcha before combat, then they play, you know, whatever, and then I attack, and then they have their whatever block my spider, and then I don't have a spider anymore.
More spiders. I'm kind of guessing my opponent's like sitting on like some transfusions. With like those, the emote using there. That like they only had the one thing out so they couldn't transfusion. And potentially discard a progress day. Potentially they were saying that about um, how they just attacked with Boom Kuroki instead of playing the 2 3 first. They could have transfusioned. Basically, this costs one mana to cast. Because otherwise, we would have had three mana be wasted. So, like, that really just cost us one mana to play that. Also, I, I probably should not have passed, should I? Because yeah, now they get to transfusion. I should just cast the Withering Whale before they could have two things out in transfusion. Victory at any cost. I, I should cast that withering roll immediately and war for one it's it's not the intuitive play the intuitive play is wait for them to play more th things before you withering whale but I just kind of realized that that was the play I should have done Hey, hey, Bianaki. Um, the best Swain deck we've played was the Yasuo Swain. This is the best uh, Swain deck I've played. Here's a link. I would like to block, please. Is it safer to Withering Whale this turn and then untap in Karina, Veraza? How are they going to have seven, seven fast speed damage? They have to have... Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot. Can't have Get Excited. They don't have anything for Noxion Fervor. I think this is just a win. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me?
Now they're gonna have like decimate, De like just decimate, decimate, and I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Four of the 13? We already had four in hand. All right, Frenzied Skitter, unplayable. <laughs> that was just another, another, I don't know, what do you call them, ally, creature, unit? Wow. Okay, well they surrendered. I thought for sure they were just gonna go like decimate, you know, and then get excited or something and I was gonna lose that. I thought for sure we were losing that. Dusk Raider. Alright, let's get that champion capsule. Need one more Leeson. I think just one more Leeson. I think that champion capsule is going to be my last Leeson, I think. Maybe I need two more Leesons. I don't remember. All right, but we're on the board. We got to win. Opponent didn't do a whole lot. And we almost died. All right, we can win this match. We got a mirror match. We're going to win this. Keeping Thermogenic Beam to answer Elise. Reset the cam. Hopefully there's no more lag now. Deck's looking worse than it did before. Basically Shadow Isles. All of the Shadow Isles removal looks worse than it did before. Expecting Withering Whale or Static Shock. Okay, awesome, Chaos. Good. Cool, glad you're, yeah, glad you're uh, doing that, having fun with it. Have you thought about finding room for a spicy, um, Dawn and Dusk in that deck. And if you do an unyielding an unyielding spell on, you know, anything, and then you copy it with Dawn and Dusk, you get even more, you know, you get three three creatures that just can't die. I feel like if I was doing unyielding Fiora with Shen, That it'd be kind of too hard to pass up finding room for one dawn and dusk.
Yeah, give that a try. They have one more card than I do. They also have a 1-1 one, one and I don't. Uh, it's a good uh, good trade that last turn, like with them having the Vile Feast. Guess if I wouldn't have cast that, I could have Ruinationed, I suppose. Gotcha just aren't going to do that much else. Opponent, why are you good? I definitely want them to play something else and then I ruination. But they were just very patient and didn't play anything and untapped and attacked. That was very smart. It's a good play. All right, maybe our Mystic Shots can finish this out. We actually have four points of burn. We could definitely have some life gain, though. You know, Withering Will and Grasp, very common. Alright, they could still have another one. I hope not. I'm going for it. So basically, do we win or do we lose? And we lose. Okay. Maybe not quite yet. No, I haven't played Karma Ezreal yet, but yeah. Um, I do like both of those new cards in that deck. Um, both, uh, yeah, Deep Meditation and Concussive Palm. Um, you know, they, I like the new two drops also, the new Ionia two drops in that deck. Yeah. Yeah, good job, Guess the Chaos. Yeah, have fun with that deck. That does sound pretty fun. As far as I know, I've kept playing the same Ledros over and over. I have been trying that. Um, because if, you know, each individual card, whenever Ledros dies and comes back, they see that Ledros. If you play the new, like, if you play the other one, they'll still see the one in hand.
All right, so I guess I'm going to be withering whaling. Most likely, I'll just pass. Yeah, we're over this. I don't really want to pass, and they pass back, and I play nothing. I think we'll get this. But, I don't know, they, they got a removal? Nope. So Ledros trigger to win? Of course, they can still have more life gain. They can respond with. Alright, not so fast. Oh, they don't have double Mystic Shot. For the last two cards. Because they don't have Grasp of the Undying available right now. No, they should definitely attack. Because maybe I just don't block. Yeah, maybe I just accidentally click through and don't block. And then, and then they win. Gotta get those percentage points where you can. Don't you dare Mystic Shot. Don't you dare double Mystic Shot. Are you kidding me? Uh... Well, this deck seems... You know, we didn't play a ton. We played five games, but it did feel much worse than it did before the update. Um, and the main the main reason why is these middle cards that were the strength of the deck, not the Vi, the other ones here, these other four and five mana cards that were kind of the strength of the deck before because they were uh, very good versatile spells. You know, Static Shock, Brood Awakening, Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale. Those four, none of them were good. <laughs> like, even Brood Awakening wasn't good. Like, none, none of those four cards were, were good. Um, other people had just, you know, much bigger things. They had very easy answers to these. Um, they didn't kill the stuff we needed to kill. Uh, yeah. Like, Ledros... Karina Veraza, those two cards were just fine. Elise is good. Um, and like Mystic Shot, but basically all like this the whole middle of the deck. Like I didn't like Vile Feast, I didn't like Skitter, I didn't really like Gotcha, Static Shock, Brood Awakening, Grasp, Withering Whale. Vengeance was very good, because there's a lot of big things, but um it just doesn't feel like like these cards are just a, very well positioned. Like Demacia decks go too like when we play that Demacia deck. The game wasn't even close. We just got annihilated. Like the, they just went way too big, and one mana grant all of your creatures toughness just completely laughs at Static Shock and Withering Whale, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this was this was not a deck that I would really recommend playing, honestly. 
We didn't do very much with Vi. Vi was, you know, just kind of a card. It wasn't bad. It was it it Vi frequently traded with multiple cards from our opponent, so that's what you want. Um, or you know, got vengeance, which you know, champions get vengeance. Like that happens. Um, but when we had so many kind of dead cards that weren't doing anything, uh, wasn't good enough. Um, if you do like this deck, if you play in this deck, I would not recommend, like, I would definitely recommend playing, uh, get excited. I think you need direct damage. I think direct damage is vital. I would absolutely play get excited, uh, because like basically the whole game plan is you ledros them like twice and get them down in that four or five damage, you know, like you maybe get like some earlier damage in here. You cut their life total in half with ledros, maybe, maybe cut their life total in half again. You know, you cut it in half one or two times, get them in like that four or five range, and then you either have Karina Veraza finish them off or your burn spells with Static Shock, Mystic Shot, and Get Excited. Without playing Get Excited, that's a huge burn spell that we did not have access to. And basically, every, you know, besides the Demacia deck, the Demacia game where we just got completely ran over, all the other games we got our opponent down to like four, like every single game, and we couldn't get burn to finish them off and so not playing get excited i think is a complete mistake so i would i would absolutely play get excited in here um, i'd rather have them than gotcha that's the easy spot um but uh you know you can you can fit it in somewhere else too all right so there we go uh yeah uh karina control um i know like uh <laughs> i don't always post like real super positive videos about every deck for the, you know like those y'all watch on youtube hope you all enjoy um even the deck even the times like that i don't do well um you know i still want like the videos for for you to learn things and everything i know it's more fun watching the decks win a lot and everything and and uh having the videos be super positive but not always like that um lendez is it safe to craft vi yeah it's safe to craft vi vi's vi's a good champion yeah um no i'm not becketh um why no atrocity yeah the this list that i'm playing here is just like the generic um list that everybody's playing online basically and so that that's why i went with this but yeah no atrocity would also help you finish those games as well um kind of like the get excited it's like this deck needs a little bit more reach um, and that could have made a huge difference. Like I said, we went four of the five games, we got our opponent down to a low life total, but couldn't finish them off because there's there's no burns. You know, we have Mystic Shot and Static Shot. That's not enough burn spells to do damage to the opponent. All right, but that's it here for Karina Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.